Welcome everyone. I have some large black walnut rounds on the trailer today and we're going to set one of these on the mill and see if we can cut some cookies out of this. I think this is going to be some really nice material and I am hoping that we can get things set up on the sawmill here to where we can actually slap this off in cookie form. So it's going to be an experiment but worth trying I think and some amazing material to look at when we're done. I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. And what I'm going to do here, guys, this is a one by. I'm going to set that against our log stops. And I put two two by fours down on our rails. And we're going to set our cookie right here in the center. And that should allow us to use our log clamp and get this thing positioned where it can't move for us, but also keep it square with the mill. So it's an experiment, but we're definitely going to try it. Make sure our crane can reach to the middle of the bunks here for us. Looks like it's going to. This little winch has turned out to be pretty handy back here. And because I can't stretch these chains as tight as I would like to, I'm going to go ahead and put a cinch strap in here and pull the slack out of the lower chain and I do have these doubled so they'll grab onto each other. That should allow us to pick this up pretty square. Any bad. down a little bit before we get over the mill with it, just in case. We almost made it. That is a lot of weight. And this has been setting and curing for 10 years now. Twenty-two. Actually, you guys can see. That's pretty much... 22 inches as far as the widest spot. We're 21 right here to this corner and in order to get through the mill I'm going to go ahead and turn this a little bit to where everything can match with the saw for what we need. Make sure we can get a clamp on this thing. Now I have a third section of this that I have my small anvil setting in the garage on. And uh, these things are heavy. There's probably 300, 400 pounds there. So it's made an awesome anvil stump. And actually that was my intent for these two. But Granny Jill asked me to make her some walnut cookies. So guess what I'm doing? First we're gonna check and make sure we don't have any metal in this thing. Now I have the saw set absolutely as high as it can go. We are actually bottomed out in the rail here. And we are going to be about two and a quarter on our first cut. Now we're kind of out of square because this was cut with a chainsaw. 
like I said, this stuff has been aging. You can see how black that is. That's why it is called black walnut. Now, as far as speed coming across this, because we are so wide, we're 20, 22 inches wide here. I'm just going to take my time with the saw and make sure we get a good cut across this. Again, this material is valuable, so we don't want to waste anything. Tell you what, guys, we made it through. But I think I want that to be a little more stable, so I'm going to tighten that clamp up. You talk about making a clock or a coffee table, that would be the stuff. Okay, drop down two inches and grab another one. Now our size, we should be right on two inches all the way throughout now, exactly what we want. Cutting this out with the live edge on it, you would have to plane this down very little in order to use the slab. The saw's doing a good job cutting this thing square. And this was a 
branch inclusion on the tree itself, it looks to me like the bark just grew around a tree limb that was poked up through here. And that looks really neat. Let's go ahead and put some water on that. I'm also going to check with our metal detector. Oh yeah, we're starting to get into some color here now, guys. Good, no sign of fencing. That tree is hard in the middle of it. It's some solid wood. Everything's still staying nice and flat. Starting to get down to the figure of the tree now. There's some nice grain in this. Every now and then, guys, you get to see something that's just absolutely beautiful to look at. And I may never get the possibility to mill another tree this size, as far as walnut goes. So, I'm really thankful to get to cut this one out. Well, we ended up with 11 slabs, guys. And look at that stuff. We got into the double heart here in several of these boards. Just really, really neat to be able to take this stuff. Again, it's been setting down for 10 years and I have had it in the dry. And uh, today was the day to get to see what mother nature made out of that. Well, we now know that we can cut cookies on our bandsaw mill. Just simply get something underneath to support the material and a backrest that 
you can get your log clamp to work for you. And that was pretty simple, guys. Uh, the results speak for themselves and have a really nice, well-sawn material. So I'm glad I experimented with this. Uh, we did sacrifice a little bit of height on the saw because we put two by fours underneath in order to support the round. But other than that, we could put a thinner material if we needed to gain a little bit more room. So the little 126 has done a great job here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you on the next one. We'll find something else to do.